All right, the next showdown on the Badlands deck I made is Reno's Pex. I just wanted to have a clever title, but this deck has Pirates, Excavate Cards, and Concoctions, so P-E-C. So I just titled it Reno's Pex. This deck actually was really good. Like, I went 3-0. Like, I, I, I beat a Druid. And I beat two Death Knight players in, in a row. Didn't do any more because I didn't need to get any more duels to the deck. I only need... Typically my videos have three wins. Or sometimes I'll put a loss in there. If the loss is good. If it's a hard fault loss, I'll put it in there. But I played three games. Won three games. The video's done. Move on to the next deck. Surprisingly good. The tempo that you get from the Pirates is actually really good and won me the games. Like Jolly Roger, if they can't deal with this card, they just lose. And the one of the Death Knight players I dueled against couldn't deal with this card until like turn 3 or 4. And by then it already had summoned so many 1-1s. One I did play the pewter side against that Death Knight player, but uh, I shouldn't have done that. And he ended up obliterating it. So that was a mistake on my part, playing the pewter side into removal. But uh, even with the misplay, I still won the game. Typically, I don't usually play... Tempo, usually, I don't tempo out pewter side, but I did in that duel, and that was a mistake on my part. I should have known better not to tempo it, but I still ended up winning anyway. So you know the deck's good if you're misplaying and you still win. So there you go. Good deck. The deck code will be in the description down below. There's a lot of... Let's see, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine legendaries in the deck. Ten legendaries, so... <laughs> way more expensive than Treant Druid. And probably way worse than Treant Druid, but... <laughs> Every deck's worse than Treant Druid, though, so it doesn't really say much, does it? But if you guys saw, if you guys seen the new card, that the new Excavate cards that are coming out, uh, three new Excavate cards. There's one that deals two, two random damage to an enemy for one mana, and, and and then buffs a minion that you have for plus two plus two. The two mana one is a one two that deals two damage to all enemies. So it's kind of like an anti treant druid card. And you'll be able to use that when the when the mini set comes out. As long as you use the excavate cards to get to get them. And also there's a new one as well. The other the other new one is a three mana uh uh, it's, it, you summon an element. You discover an elemental. You summon one of them, and you add the other two to your hand. So that's pretty good. That's actually an insane excavate treasure. And Deep Home will be out uh, next Thursday. Uh, it's fr Friday at the time of this recording. It's Friday, January twelfth, twenty twenty-four. The time of this recording. Uh, the mini set comes out January 18th, 2024, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure most people do know. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the mini set. Um, I'm going to continue to make more decks before that, though, because I do want to get a deck out every day. So I'll see if I'll make some more decks while I... Maybe I'll make some wild decks, because I'm not really sure what I want to make in standard since... The mini set's coming out soon. Maybe I'll make some wild decks. Or I'll do I'll do some dual runs as well, maybe. We'll see. Thanks for watching later. Oh, another Death Knight. Already dueled one just recently. Queen Ashara. As I wanna play this on two, I'm gonna get rid of the courier. It'll be kinda clunky. And I'll go ahead and keep the queen, since she's a good card. 
So it's good to have in your hand early because that way you can get the three spells going and um, be able to use her effect as soon as possible. She's really bad if you top dig her later. How does he kill this? Coin down with the ship? If he kills it, it's not the end of the world anyway, though. But we're definitely hero powering here. Get that Jolly Roger value. Oh, he's like Moros for one mana. And all I gotta do is attack. What are you doing, bro? Um, go face. Oh, he trades into that? What are you cooking over here, bro? Do I play this? Because now he wants to kill that. Make him kill that now. I don't know what he was trying to do. Set this to two. I'm trying to think. Like an AoE of some sort is what I was thinking. Oh, obliterate. Okay. Okay, well he's blood. Kind of caught me off guard. I was figuring he was a uh, plague. Mortal Coil or the Light That Burns? The other one's good too. But uh... I think I'll take the Mortal Coil. I'm gonna complete the Pirate Admiral just with one card. I can mortal coil the one ones if I want to. Turn five's his AoE turn though. Oh, he's rainbow. Okay, is this the same person I just duelled against? No, I just duelled against the rainbow deck. I think I am gonna mortal coil my own guy. Just to draw a card. You ever, you ever see someone play a card instantly? I just did. I've never. I don't usually even play cards instantly like that. But I see. I see a drilly. I play a drilly. My bot is killing it. My my bot is killing you, killing you though. Hmm. Do I have a weapon in my deck? Oh yeah, I do. I have the. Look at this tempo, son. Gotta kill the 3-3 three, three here. Or he's gonna be in a bad spot. Okay, you can kill the 3-3. Three, three. My curb is pretty low, so I can just dagger and stuff if I need to. Getting that damage in is pretty good. I got a lot of damage too, by the way. I have three, uh, six, plus her, eleven. Could be lethal.
They could play a Corpse Bride here, which would be pretty good, probably. It'd be a nine corpse. They could also play Corpse Farm as well. Which would summon them an eight drop, because it's the highest it can go is an eight drop. It doesn't summon higher than eight. Um, have but little time. Come on, bro. Yep, there's the corpse brother that was what I mentioned. So I have three, six. Because I can do double claps, but it's only six. I can't even kill that with that. So I think I do this. I don't think I'd do that though, right? I think I saved that one. Hopefully it kills a 9-4. Okay, we're good. I can play this for one mana next turn. I was hoping for a better Colossal, but it gave me the same one. I mean, it's not a bad Colossal, but it doesn't really... I don't know, it didn't, it didn't really... Well, it killed the 9-4 at least. I guess it didn't do a lot of damage to his face too, I guess. But it could have left that 9-4 up, which would have been scary. Corpse Bride, the thing it summons now is Taunt. It didn't have Taunt before. So that card was really bad before. You're just dead, buddy. Yeah, you're just dead. Sorry, Rainbow DK. It'll never work. And I'm pretty sure... Actually, it's not rotating, so they could make more support for that. Hey, and look, I'm di Platinum 5. Yeah. Platinum 5, baby. Platinum... I am Platinum 5. And I'm not even trying to climb. I reach Platinum 5 just by playing this deck. I'm not even trying. Alright, but yeah, this is Reno's Pex. It's actually a good deck. I went 3-0. I won all three games. I didn't even have to work for the wins at all. I always had the thought process. Don't hate the... Don't hate the game. Hate or Don't hate the player. Hate the game. You know, that's how it should be. You know, keep this, those, keep that card. That's a good card to have. Ooh, one, two, three. Hell yeah. But I kind of want a hero power on two to get this thing ready. But I also want a concoction too, so I don't know. I think it's correct to get the pirate going because I need to start drawing some cards. I could just play this. A little bit off curve, but let's go and get this ready. And the next turn I could draw a card with this. Cutlass Courier. Oh, he's Blood Death Knight, I think. He's like, what is that? Pirate Rogue? <laughs> Pirate Rogue in 2024? And not in Wild?
a face there. If it's butt, he'll be able to clear it anyway. He'll trade and clear it probably somehow. I don't think it's Plague because why would he be running that card in Plague? Oh, it could be Frost. Or it could be... Oh, I bet I know what it is. It's the 10 mana, you know, the rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow Death Knight is what it is. So it's either, yeah, it's either rainbow or, um, blood. Or no, it can't be blood, though. I mean, it could be, like, one blood. But, uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's kind of fitting for this deck, too. Pirate, a pirate deck, throwing rocks and shit. Yeah, it's blood. Or not blood, but a rainbow, uh, rainbow, yeah. Sorry. So you can kill the 3 1 and the 4 2 there. And the 1 2. Eviscerate? I'm actually pushing a lot of damage here. Four left. Can you feel the cold hand of death He's just dead if I get double three damage. Oh wait, no, I can't. I'm going to bank on him not having any healing. Because I could deal 3 damage with this. Next turn. My hand if he doesn't have a way to heal. He's got a heal here. He's dead. I don't want to put anything out so he can rush into. He could play the Forge guy. Oh. That's healing sometimes. Rehydrate or dehydrate. And that is game. Wow. This deck actually works. I wasn't expecting to win with this deck. I just made this for fun. I don't know if I could beat a druid, but we'll see what happens here. I'll keep the Vela Rock. Okay, at least I got a couple one drops. If he plays Living Roots on one, I can kill one of the 1-1s. One oh, With the 3-1 here. Filet Fighter. Wow. Aquatic Form on one. So it's definitely a... Uh, probably Treant Druid. I don't know why he needed a rope the whole time, but... That's leaning more towards Dragon Druid though, if he's if he took that one. Will be 
That's actually the best one here because this can get me a card for Velorock. Hopefully it gives me something cheap. Yeah, why would Treant Druid pick that card? There's no re reason to in that deck. Hmm. I guess this card's pretty good. Yeah, it's Dragon Druid, okay. That kind of sucks. That's not a card for Velorock, unfortunately. Because this is neutral. But this is synergy. If I could tr transform Velorock, this Velorock's a dragon, so... It'll trigger the Amber Whelp. Yeah, and he knew what I got there as well. So we're going to do this. Oh, that's actually a mech. Error. Hot bucket. So we can go the 3-1, kill the 1-1, and then we can Velorock kill the 3-3. Three, three. He might trade here, though. I don't know. We can also Amber Whelp as well if we need to. Oh, this is happening instead. Overlord Dracura for six? It definitely seems pretty damn good, don't it? Okay, and then we have a dragon for Amber Whelp. That seems pretty good to me. Of course, that's really bad for me. Hopefully, we didn't get a dragon golem with that. <laughs> Come on, bro. What the hell, dude? What is up with this guy? He's weird. He keeps roping my ass. Like a weirdo. Got five or more spells this game. Draw two cards. That's kind of bad. I gotta put some tempo out there because he's about to play the dragon golems. Potentially. Plus board spamming is good against uh, Druid anyway. You can, pour, you can board spam against Druid. And not really worried too much unless they have Reno and then you're kind of screwed. Currently, if he plays a Dragon Golem, he can't kill my Velorock though. So he might take a turn to kill the Velorock. But he keeps roping my ass for some reason like a weirdo. Okay, so we can play this. We trade both of these in here. Okay, 
Okay, Amber Whelps useless. Um, I could play Drilly. To excavate some cards, maybe. Need to save uh, enough mana for a concoction here. So I could hero power, but I think I'll just do this. And look at this value. Guess I'm in six more pirates. He might have Reno, I don't know. I don't know if he's a Reno deck or not. Got Yogg coming up on turn nine. What the hell? That was a weird play. Ooh, objection. I guess it don't really matter, right? Okay, that's a pretty good card. Together now. You no deck is not my goal. I can't trade with an eight attack minion. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. If it costs me the game, oh well. I can't do it. It would be painful to do that. I just wasted four of his mana. Yeah, it's a it's definitely a Reno deck. If he plays five here, I can take it. Five left, five left for that one. Let's see what do I do? We got three left for that. It's kind of a slow turn for me though, but Oh Reno runs that card in? Maybe it's not Reno. Yeah, it's definitely not. If he's drawing a bunch of spells like this. Long enough. 
Ach so. Okay, might have to deal with another dragon golem here, but I could maybe yog, do something. I don't think still in the five is going to be very good here. I think I got to roll the colossal here because here's the thing: I still the five, right? And it doesn't really do anything, right? I can kill the one two, but I can't kill the eight eight with it. I'd have to trade him other guys. I did, I, think I did that wrong. Could have got a... Oh no, that's fine. Actually, we're good. The Might Reno here if he has it. I, like I said, I don't know if he's... Re I, I think he's seen... I play, he's played duplicates though. But he could still be Reno. I've seen greedy people run duplicate Renos. That's the problem with Reno. People can run Reno even if they have duplicates. Another Phi. How the hell do you get a second Phi? Oh, Malgam of the Deep. Are you freaking serious right now? Watch him get another one. That would piss me the fuck off. Like, I will freaking go... Ballistic if he gets another fucking fire here. Stay alert, my children. Are you kidding me? That might. That's one in his actual deck, though. I need to draw Reno here. Damn. I think I'd take control of the Phi. I could also have them attack each other. But that could end really badly for me. Well, okay, that's fine, I guess. If my Phi lives, that'd be great, but... Him. Might be dead here. I got screwed over. Nothing I could do. Did the best I could. If I had a top deck Reno though, I would have won. Oh well. All I need is a Sunspot Drake here. He are, I know he runs Alex Straza as well. He might have Alex Straza. This dude's a freaking prick though, because he keeps roping. These are the players that make Hearthstone a disgrace because of players like this. The community's so toxic and shit.
Our community is really based on how toxic their players are and everything. And this dude's definitely a toxic player because he freaking ropes every damn turn. If you don't want to play the game, don't play the game, bro. Just... I do need to play some pirates. To my knowledge, there's no like... Oh, he just left. Okay, whatever. I don't... That was so weird, man. He ropes damn near every turn <laughs> and then like just surrenders even though he's in an advantageous position. He had a 7 attack Phi on the damn board. He got mad because I wiped those other minions like like I don't understand that guy. Weird. Toxic player. If you dislike the game don't play it I guess is what I could advice I could give to him I take breaks from this game I don't play it all the time like I, I, I have to take breaks and that's why I, uh, I make like a deck a day and then that's it <laughs> I don't play for very long I get three wins and I'm done 